question number two, identify the incorrect statement, the wrong statement regarding Landau-Kleffner syndrome. So, polymorphic seizures in 70 percent patients, that is a true statement. Uh, in about 70 percent patients of Landau-Kleffner syndrome, you can have multiple types of uh, seizures with distinct morphology. There can be focal seizures, there can be uh, generalized tonic clonic seizures, there can be atypical absence seizures and so on. Onset before three years of age in most cases is false. According to Nelson, Landau-Kleffner syndrome, majority of patients, the onset occurs between 3 to 10 years. Option C, progressive loss of language skills is one of the cardinal feature of Landau-Kleffner and sleep age is indicated again is a true statement. So, answer to question number 2 is B. So, let us quickly revise the key points about this syndrome. So, it has an autoimmune or genetic basis and the mutations involved, the genetic basis includes grin 2 a mutations. Age of onset is 3 to 6 years, progressive loss of acquired language skills happen, verbal auditory agnosia and aphasia can happen, there is inability to comprehend speech, at least 70 percent develop seizures of multiple types. EEG shows that bitemporal areas are having high amplitude spike and wave discharges, especially during NREM sleep. So, they may have a normal awake EEG, in, uh, especially in early cases, so a sleep EEG is indicated whenever there is a clinical suspicion. And EEG even in the sleep EEG in later stages may become normal. And some patients may show electrical status epilepticus in sleep. For seizures, you can use valproate or clobazam. And for aphasia and agnosia, you, they benefit from benzodiazepine. If there is no response to benzodiazepine, we can use low-dose steroids in these patients.